Hi guys, welcome to today's video. In today's video, we'll look into a scenario in which Tanzania makes an empire. Why Tanzania? I don't know. Let's just use Tanzania because I decide Tanzania, which is a great country to choose, I guess. And so, now let's talk about subscribers. We're at 457 subscribers now. That is 143 away from our goal by July 1st. And it's July 4th today. So that, it's June 4th actually. It's June 4th. So that means we have 26 days to get there. And I think we can get to our goal. And our next subscriber special will be at 500 subscribers. And for now, let's get into the video as they invade Rwanda. And that's a swift invasion. And yeah, they invade themselves. As they storm into Rwanda, somehow they go in that fast. Is that even possible? I don't know, guys. But what do you guys think? As they annex it, a full-on annexation is made of this small territory. Well, enlarging themselves, they decide to go into Burundi. I might have mixed up Rwanda and Burundi, but I think I got it right. If I did mix it up, please comment that I did. And so, yeah, y'all. Oh, okay. And this happens. And they even invade Dr. Congo. Why would they do that, guys? I don't know. And look, see, the fall was like that. And now they have a big border at the Dr. Dr. Congo. If you consider this ocean border useful, which I wouldn't. And well, they decide it's time to go into Uganda. But... The Democratic Republic of Congo and Kenya decide they also want land. So every team's up. So this will just slow them from going north, I guess. As this happened. Dr. Congo storming in. Find the Democratic Republic of Congo. Kenya and Tanzania are all storming in. Uganda happening and... Democratic Republic of Congo got the northern third. The eastern third went to Kenya, and the southern area went to Tanzania. And Tanzania decides it's time to expand into Malawi. Why Malawi? I'm not sure, but they do. It's like a really hard country to invade, because the narrower you are, to invade from the north or south is hard. But to invade from the east or west, much easier. But like this, easy to hold a defensive. As Mozambique invades the south, because they're fearful of the Tanzanian Empire getting strong. As quickly the fall of Malawi happens. Some nations see this expansion as a threat to their security. So nations of Madagascar meet in Kinshasa with the D Democratic Republic of Congo, because I believe that's the capital of the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Madagascar holds a meeting there in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Zimbabwe, Botswana, Mozambique, Angola, Zambia, Namibia, South Africa, Somalia, Ethiopia, and South Sudan meet. And the nations that agree to join include Democratic Republic of Congo, Kenya, S South Sudan, Somalia, Madagascar, Zimbabwe, Zambia, Mozambique. And now they're in trouble. But you forgot one thing. Cameroon. Mayato and the other places around it. Mauritius and stuff. They annex all those islands. France is a bit upset at them, but they do nothing. They don't really care. Ethiopia and South Sudan. South Africa, Ethiopia, Sudan. Botswana, Namibia secretly will help them. While Angola finally joins this pact. But it gets a bit crazy because, as was expected, 
Except they're bordering, all their borders are armed and dangerous, basically. And Ray is back and forth until one day someone may or may not have activated this pact. As there was an accidental shooting, supposedly. You want to see where that happened? And Usually this would interrupt in no war, but for the sake of this video, it does. As Tanzanian forces training crossed the border and were shot at, they blamed Zambia for armed most of their borders as well as they could. And they start an invasion of Mozambique at the same time. With their speed at which they invade, speeding up. They do well down in the south, but in the north, they kind of struggle to an attack where they are routed by the Democratic Republic of the Congo in the north. With their forces being pushed back to here. And over here, they get attacked badly. Now, that's where they get pushed to, so it's not that bad. South Africa, Namibia, Botswana are now arming their borders. Which is a bit confusing because the nations thought they were friendly to them. But with them not realizing these nations were also friendly to them. But South Africa inferred that. Armed these borders just in case. They don't want to lose a lot of land to these. And well, yeah. With a big shot coming as the invasion of Mozambique is kicked off by South Africa and Zimbabwe. With Botswana kicking off their invasion, why are they joining Tanzania's side? Because they had a good deal. And Angola did not expect this. And they move into Zambia. With Tanzania's advance continuing... With a stalemate being established in the north. And these nations in trouble. Until they kind of stalemate out. Kind of. For a bit. With Sudan and Ethiopia seeing this as a prime time to invade. With Sudan's government doing this to try and stabilize their nation. With Somaliland quickly getting invaded by Ethiopia. As they are proud to be. With Sudan moving forces into South Sudan. To try and distract his public. As the Sudanese forces. Armed forces move south. And yeah. Ethiopia starts an invasion of Kenya. With Kenya moving forces in the southern front they're holding. And they get pushed back really far. They try to hold, and their point is to try and move that back, but when they did this, moving away, they got attacked in the south. So now their forces have to be split between the two fronts, which allows them to slowly advance south and north. With, with Somalia, anarchy, well, kind of anarchical, whatever you want to call it, well, a lot of nations aren't exactly stable. A lot of them had intervention, but are they really? Anarchy? No. There's government. But not a solid government throughout all the land. As that makes sense, I guess. I hope. With a landing in Madagascar happening. As Madagascar's navy isn't Really doing great. What do I mean by that? I didn't even show naval dominance. That's crazy. Fine, there's no naval dominance for the blue team, maybe. Or maybe they use planes to do this. Who knows? That's something invading it from the south. Oh, wait, it's South Africa. And yeah. 
I might continue the Battle Royale series, maybe, if you guys want another episode of the Battle Royale. Vote in the comments. Well, say in the comments. With many nations in trouble now as the biggest conflict of this video is ending very well. With Somalia surrendering and the capitulation of Kenya is not far. And their advance even sped up even more as they just take over Kenya. And then another invasion started speeding up in the north, in fact, and many things happen. With the collapse being inevitable of these two nations capitulating. Now the Democratic Republic of Congo basically just leaving the war for some reason. Fine, they basically already lost. With Kenya, with Angola leaving the war, but the rest of the nations can't leave the war because they keep getting invaded. With both of these leaving the war, but these nations know it's not a big deal because they weren't really helping them. But now they realize they were wrong as, well, all their forces just focus on this front. With Z Zimbabwe falling in the Mozambique nations, such as South Africa, which enlarged, Namibia, which enlarged, Botswana got lots of land. And then, peop you might have thought Zambia would be gone, but that's what's left to Zambia. And this is Somaliland, which was made a country, as in case I didn't mention it. But now, let's go to what happened after the treaty. Well, South Sudan was partitioned, I didn't talk about that. And so was Kenya and Somalia. And why are these nations down here unifying? Because they need to. They all have to pay war reparations. And Ethiopia looks... And Sudan didn't get all of South Sudan, no. Part went to Ethiopia. Ethiopia gained a lot of land, guys. And now let's go to the after. The end. So the video will be coming to you and you watched it. So did you enjoy this video? Thumbs up if you did. Thumbs down if you didn't. But thumbs up if you didn't. Thumbs up if you did. Actually, don't give it a thumbs down if you didn't like the video. If you liked the video, guys, thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, thumbs up. Tell me what you thought of the video in the comments section. Just give me a thumbs up on this video. As likes show engagement, so as comments show engagement. So you should also share this video. More engagement. Just engage with this video to the maximum. Subscribe. Subscribe and subscribe. That's the most important thing you can do. Engagement comes after you subscribe. So me, please subscribe and then you can talk about anything in the comments box. But please subscribe as we're 143 away from our goal. And don't we want to hit our goal, guys? I guess we do. What about you guys? Do you? I guess you do want to subscribe. Because why else would you watch a full video? And we are quickly approaching my one year anniversary of this channel. As I will be in three days. This channel will be, I believe, officially one year old. So if you could, please like and subscribe. Because that would be great for the channel. That's all for today's video. Wild Mapper out.